Hello Commerce, so today we're going to learn how to make health bars. There are more than two types, but I will show you only two. Uh, one is the ones that you can use for first person shooter. Uh, basically it's the health bar you can see here and it's just somewhere on your UI. And another one is that uh, health bar type that you will see in RTS games, for example, uh, the ones that is exactly above the unit. So I will show you how to make these two and uh, I will show you how to make them rotate to face your camera. So you can see I'm moving the camera and the health bars rotate to actually face it. So they're perfectly visible. Uh, yep. So all you need to do to make a health bar, you need to go game object UI and add a slider. So let me close all this. UI slider. And you can see that it adds it to the canvas. If you don't have any canvas, it will create a canvas for you. Or you can just manually create a canvas and add a slider to it. So you can see this slider that was created here. It is part of UI on this cube. And we don't need this handle. No handle for us. Then let's see what else we need to do. Uh, basically, the whole thing idea about how it works is you move your slider and it fills or unfills the area. That's how you show the percentage of your health. The values are from 0 to 1, but you can do from 0 to 100, whatever makes you feel better. I prefer to have it from 0 to 1, but that's up to you. And you can change your fill area. I would remove this things so it's always the perfect size and I will change color to red let's say so when we move our slider it fills with red color you can also put your own texture on this fill and change the background basically do whatever you want all right so uh, the type that you use for FPS will be just on canvas that is uh, attached to your camera. So screen space camera and relative to a uh, reference to our main camera. It will always be on UI on canvas here. So you can see that here is our camera view and here is our canvas that has this health bar. And wh wherever we rotate our camera, it just moves with it. It will just always be with it. Here it's a bit different. Uh, it's also canvas, which is a child of our cube game object, because if we move our cube, we want our health bar to move with our cube. And it's world space, so it will be placed wherever in the world space. And we use two scripts, health and follow camera. So let's look at the scripts. Health is pretty simple. What it does, it sets the value of a slider. It decreases it by 0, 0, 0, 1. And if it's 0, then it sets it to 1 and starts it again. And we have a reference to the slider itself. So we know where to set the value. If you want to calculate your health, just divide your current health by your maximum health and you will get the percentage from 0 to 1. That's the value that you need, basically. And follow camera script, where we have a reference to our camera. And in update, we set the rotation of our health bar, the one that we have on the cube with world space. We have this HP bar here, and on this slider we have the script follow camera and it will uh, set the rotation on this object to the rotations that we calculate. So we do quaternion that looked rotation, which will gives us the rotation uh, with specified forward vector. And we calculate this forward vector by subtracting the position of camera from our current position. That way 
uh, it will basically look properly at our camera. So that's all you need to do. You assign these two scripts to the slider on World Space Cam uh, Canvas or just one script, which will basically change our health for visual purposes. And here is our result. If I move my camera, you can see that it just keeps looking at it. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helps you to build your own games. So if you want to change your health, just change the value on the slider. And that's it. See you in the next video.